Okay, I recently got FSD beta 6 point, or 10.69.3.1, and uh, we had pretty big snow yesterday. I just cleaned up the snow. It's a little above freezing. And we're probably going to have quite a bit of snow on the road. Last year I did one of these, and I finally, well, I did several of them. I finally just gave up. It, it's just not viable to use full self-driving uh, in the snow. So we're going to try it today and see if it's better. Now we got hard packed snow on the road. Some of the roads will probably be pretty good. This is going to be just icy. Okay. Uh, it tends to want to go right up to 25 miles an hour, which I'm not going to let it do. This is a 25 mile an hour speed zone here. Uh, with this kind of stuff, 20. Uh, five is ridiculous. Uh, it's a way to get in trouble. Uh, it is kind of holding with how it's been in the past for the last few updates where it, it goes too much to the center. It's seeming to still do that. Now last year it kept wanting to go off the road. It was just it was almost impossible to deal with because just kept going off the road uh, but now it's doing about the same as it does with dry road and I'm not thrilled with that either because it drives in the middle of the road it's not exactly in the middle but everybody driving on the other side thinks I'm driving in the middle of the road so anyway uh, we'll see how this works as we go along I thinking the road we're coming up into is probably going to be pretty clear. So we'll see how it does. One of the issues I've had with full self-driving in the snow is you, there's not a lot of space uh, in snow. You don't have as wide a road as you had before. Uh, do something or sit back here and play. Okay, it seems like it's going to get on the road. Uh, okay, it, that was a full stop. I'm not sure why it did a full stop there for that guy, but it did. Uh, I guess that's better than going too fast, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that was all about. But, uh, you know, fairly clear road, 35, probably okay. Uh, I would probably, well, I'd probably run 35 in this thing because it's, it's reasonably snow free. freaking out. Every time somebody comes to the other side of the road, it's just totally freaking out. Kind of didn't on that guy, but <laughs> uh, not sure what that's all about. Uh, it's never done that before. <laughs> uh, you know, we had the phantom stops, but that wasn't phantom. It was stopping because there were cars on the other side of the road. Okay. Uh, maybe it's some kind of reaction that they tried to build in when there's snow on the road. Uh, I noticed yesterday, and I never got any pictures of it, but when I set a route in 
and it was coming to maybe a corner where there was a stop sign or something and snow was everywhere. Uh, it turned the road yellow and dropped its speed. And I thought that was kind of neat, except it didn't do it all the time. Now it's coming up here again too fast. It, it always does that. But, but because the road is reasonably passable, uh, I've let it go. Now we got somebody coming here. Now you can see that guy. He thought I was coming out right in front of him. This is just stupid, stupid, stupid. It doesn't need to go out that far. It can see before it gets there. That guy stopped because I was going right in front of him. Now, the intention of the car was not to do that, but it's upsetting to other drivers. They've got to deal with this. Okay, we're coming up to uh, a traffic circle here again, going through. Oh, this is coming up to the traffic circle, finally slowing down. Now, what's it going to do? Cars coming. Uh, can't do that. It couldn't figure out whether it wanted to go or not. Now it should go now. Ugh. Slow. Went the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but <laughs> it went the wrong way. Oh, it's got its troubles on this thing. I'm going to let it uh, travel down here. There's a couple of more. Uh, traffic circles. It has done okay in these traffic circles in the past and the road is great. You know, it's wet. But that's about it. Uh, so it's, going to do. it's actually done pretty good with this, uh, this, uh, this one here, except right now when it slowed down to 11 miles an hour. Uh, yeah. That wasn't terrible, but it was kind of stupid. Now here's another one coming up, and let's see how it does this one. Like I've said, both both of these uh, traffic circles have uh, done pretty good. Now it has missed a uh, it just came into a uh, playground that has a well marked 20 mile an hour speed limit and it's going 25 should have slowed down. This, uh, I know this one well. This thing is really, really, uh, you should snow, st uh, stop for it. Now, what's it going to do? Oh, okay, it's going to go this way. All right, still trying to go to Liberty Lake. Really roundabout way, but whatever. Uh, talking about the that park back there. Uh, there's kids all over this, even in the middle of the winter time. And you really got to be careful around that thing. With cars parked in the road, uh, it scares me to death that you go through there anything over 20 miles an hour. Anyway, we're on our way back to Liberty Lake, we hope. 
we'll see what it does. It slowed down there for some reason. Not sure what that was all about. This has some real goofy curves, curbs, and uh, uh, that may be the issue there. Go. Hey, stupid. Tesla's right in front of you. You look like a fool in front of your own service station. I don't know what it was waiting for, but maybe we were just thrilled to death with what the hell? Okay, that was neat. Went to the middle of the road before it turned. Okay, now it's getting way too far off the side. Now there's a pedestrian, so I gotta be real careful here. Now it's gone to the center of the road, which it probably should do at this point. No, you're not going over there. Okay, I had to take over. I'm not gonna let this thing drive over close to these guys. It does, it usually just goes past them just fine. But you gotta give them plenty of clearance. If there's plenty of room, you give them plenty of clearance. But uh, I'm not letting them get that close to a, a pedestrian, especially in snow. He could fall or something. And they ain't gonna blame full self driving. They're gonna blame me. So I'm real antsy about pedestrians in the snow. Okay, now it's coming up here pretty fast. Nah, nah. Well, <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it just shut itself off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you come up too fast on this thing. There was snow on the road. The, the road was clear, so I said, well, let's just go ahead and do it. And I let it do it. And, of course, it, it had to... Uh, break really hard and of course it couldn't because it was snow on it so it was having its troubles with traction control I mean traction control worked okay but it should never have been necessary uh, here again slowing down places it shouldn't not slowing down in places it should Entirely too fast. It's actually having to. Uh, the braking isn't working. Well, it's working. It's, <laughs> it's keeping it from going into a skid. Okay, I'm not going to let it go up to 35 on this street. There's uh, a bit more snow on this than I'm comfortable. Uh, that's weird. It is stopping for everybody that's coming. Uh, 
this seems to be something that they've developed to do in snowy conditions, slow down when there's oncoming traffic. Uh, so it must be seeing the snow okay. Let's see if it's going to snow down, slow down here. No, it didn't snow well for this guy. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Okay, coming up to some more people coming on the other way. Is it going to slow down? Nope, not going to slow down. Okay. I don't know what triggers that slowdown. Quite a bit of partially covered snow partially covered snow on the road and uh, seems to be handling it fairly good it would be going 35 miles an hour on this road if I let it uh, I don't know what you should do if you want to drive in snow it's going towards the center get away from the center okay didn't slow down for that guy either must have learned now that it sees a pedestrian. Yes, it sees a pedestrian. I'm doing a monologue because you can't see the dash. Uh, it's really not too far off here. Uh, it's probably doing better than I think it's doing because the white line is, uh, is quite close over on the right and it tends to move away from it maybe a little bit more than I would because the track is on the right. Okay, uh, okay gonna stop for this guy. It's just a flat stop for this guy. What is this? The inconsistency is one of the things that bothers me most about this. Because you just don't know. Now it's going to stop for this guy. Maybe it's seeing a, a minor change in the uh, uh, the road surface that's triggering that. Now we're supposed to turn up here, and it's just not going to make this turn. No, 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 it's not going to make it. No. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do, dummy? Okay, it couldn't make it. It jammed on the brakes and uh, uh, come to a skidding sort of stop. Now, it's going to turn up here. It's going to be going too fast. <sighs> Jeez. Well, it made it. <laughs> Just barely. Okay, it was supposed to make that turn back there, but it didn't make the turn, and it's done this a lot of times because it can't figure out that turn. But it came up, of course, too fast on this road uh, that it was going, you know, to reroute it to. So uh, <laughs> it made it, but the traction control. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, for conclusions, uh, it's better than it was last year. It does not try to run into the ditch all the time. At least it doesn't appear to. I probably should have a couple more driving tests of it to be sure. Uh, it sounds like they've tried to do a few things to make it viable in the winter, uh, none of which are very effective. Uh, they may have a, a good future of effectiveness, but right now they're not. Um, I am not comfortable uh, driving it in the snow or allowing it to drive itself in the snow. I have to be very vigilant to watch everything it does. 
uh, because there's certain things about smooth driving and uh, like I sh showed with the uh, pedestrian problem uh, that I just can't let the car do. Uh, in snow, you have to be driving smooth. You have to be speeding up uh, slowly, slowing down slowly because the traction is compromised. And it doesn't see that. It hasn't been able to see it. The things it does, like stopping when there's traffic on the other side of the road, I don't know. They're not effective for anything, but I assume that is one of the things they're trying to do to make it better. Anyway, it's, it is better than last year, but it's not so good. I will link my last year's videos uh, so you can take a look at those and see what you think. That's it on this one.